Hi everyone, I have another 10 minute challenge today. Uh, we're going to be making a simple envelope backed cushion cover. Now I'm not a fan of installing zips so these are perfect for me. Uh, I've made so many cushion covers over the last year for the uh, applique patterns that I designed. Um, I, if I had to install a zip in each one of those I think it would have driven me absolutely bonkers. So my cushion pad is 20 inch square. Now I make my covers one inch smaller so that the seam allowance used, um, sorry, with the seam allowance used up, the cover is slightly smaller. Most pads aren't filled right to the corners so this helps to make the cushions a bit puffier. You'll need your front section cut at 19 by 19 inches and two back sections each measuring 19 by 15 inches. So, time is set. First we'll prepare the back sections. Fold over half an inch on one of the 19 inch edges. Sew down that using a quarter inch seam allowance. and then repeat for the other back section. Lay the front fabric right side up on a flat surface. Lay one of the backing pieces right side down so that the seam allowance you just stitched is visible. Lay it against the left hand side. Now add the other backing piece, again right side down, against the right side of the front panel. These will overlap uh, in the centre. Pin around the entire thing to keep it all together.
Now sew around the entire project using a quarter inch seam allowance. If you want an even puffier cushion, uh, you can opt for a larger seam allowance here. When you get to the sections where the backing fabric is doubled, back stitch a little to reinforce them. Clip the four corners and if you opted for a larger seam allowance, trim away some of the excess. Turn the cover right side out through the envelope back. Poke out the corners. And then it's ready to pop in a cushion and there you go. Oh, nine minutes and 39 seconds. Uh, now, obviously, I used a standard piece of fabric for the front in this one. Um, but you might want to play around with cushion fronts. Simple patchwork squares from two fabrics can look stunning. Uh, this is one I made using another William Morris fabric. Um, or maybe you'd like, you, you like to applique. Look at this one I made when creating our Geo applique range. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to get yourself entered into the giveaway draw. I'll add a card to the end of the video for that.